Today, rightly so, it's all about being an eco-warrior. But you can be an eco-warrior and save yourself a fortune. I mean, if you want to create a brand new kitchen island, something that would cost you thousands of pounds to make new for just a few hundred pounds, then this is how you do it. I'll give you a full financial breakdown and some top tips throughout the video. Right, now this is probably going to offend a lot of people, but I'm going to chop to death a pair of vintage Urkel tables. Stick with me, don't get upset and stop screaming at your screen. I'm going to be saving a fortune and what I'm about to do is so environmentally friendly, it's painful. So what you're looking at there is a manky old Urkel table. Now I know Urkel are pretty trendy these days, but not that particular model. It's too traditional and it's too brown. But what it isn't is poor quality. It is fabulous quality, but I don't want the legs and I can't get the whole thing in the back of my car, so I'm going to chop it up. Yes, some of you will be crying now watching this, but I don't care. I'm gonna save thousands of pounds and I'm being environmentally friendly. This first one cost me 50 quid. Here's the first top tip, that's a rubbish angle. Get the table over on its side. Okay, first side done, tabletop is almost detached. And before I forget, big thanks to Unit 10 Vintage in Barnard Castle for one, selling me the tables and two, allowing me to go to the unit on my own with a set of keys, drag the tables out and chop furniture up outside his premises. Very kind, thank you very much. It's a monster weight, this thing, but just take a look at that top. Gorgeous or what? And now on to Urkel table number two. Now, this is a different model, different design altogether, but from the same period, probably 1970s, same timber, same colour, same grain. I just want sections of this. And remember, I only want the top. The legs are of no use to me, whatsoever, so off they come. I paid 50 quid for this one as well, so so far I've spent 100 pounds. Right, that's it. Legs have been chopped off. Heavy old beastie this. Look at that timber. Off we go home. Well, I will be home once the renovation is over. But this week I've had the joiner spend a day, a day and a half, working on the Urkel tables, cutting them, shaping them, stripping them down and fitting them onto some old kitchen cabinets, recycling again and creating a bespoke kitchen island that looks like that. That's it. You'll recognize the shape of the Urkel tops, all sanded now. Look at that timber, hardwood, solid beach on good quality, old, secondhand and worthless kitchen cabinets. But put together, look at the look, look at the pegs. That, I promise you, in a posh kitchen shop would cost you anywhere between two and a half thousand and five thousand pounds. And how much do you think this has cost me to create? I'm gonna tell you in a moment. I mean, to be honest, it's bonkers beyond belief just how cheap 
this thing is and how environmentally friendly it is as well. Now, I started the process with no skill whatsoever in chopping the legs off. Now I'm going to finish the process with no skill whatsoever in oiling the top. That is, of course, if I can get the safety lid off the tin of oil. Does anybody know how to open one of these things? I mean, seriously, if we talk about safety cap, this is bonkers. Got it, and it smells wonderful. Right, here we go. This is where you need no skill whatsoever. And I think the results will be immediate. So just read the instructions. That's what we're going to do. No point in me repeating the instructions. And here we are. Go on, camera operator. I mean, just take a look at the instant results. I mean, it's remarkable, isn't it? It's so easy, it's unbelievable. So the stuff I'm using is Ron Seal, it's Worktop Oil, 16 pounds from my local DIY store. And if you read the instructions, you need to put on four coats over four days, leaving 24 hours in between. That's it, and then periodically, just top it up. No doubt about it, my favourite part of this top are those dowels. Look at those dowels! I've been fitted by Urkel in their factory 50 years ago. They've now been given a new lease of life. Well, there you have it. Three minutes worth, no more, and it is done. It needs another three coats on top over a few days, but that is the end result. So what has it cost in total? Well, let's start with the cabinets themselves. Now, these are very good quality, but they were free because things like this are worthless in the secondhand market. You can get them on Facebook Marketplace, just take them away, but utilize them, recycle them to buy new, they would cost a fortune. Get yourself a good joiner. He charged me £250 for making up the top just as you see now, fitting it to the cabinets and sanding it down. Then I bought a tin of oil, which cost me £16. Remember the Urkel tables cost me £100. So a grand total, everybody, of £366, not thousands of pounds. So I've saved myself a fortune and I can fly the flag and say, I am an eco-warrior. Yes. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm David Harper. Till next time. Cheerio.